everyone to another episode of subsistence there was a little bit of a screw up and well guess what my mic wasn't working so I have to do a voiceover but this is picking up right where we left off and of course it's gonna be a miserable rainy day and before we take off, I ended up make or sitting down the other light that I made, and my tomatoes are ready to harvest, so I'm picking those up. But this video is one I did not want to delete, and I did not want to upload without voice, so I'm doing the voiceover. But what I'm doing here is getting the cotton seeds. Go ahead and plant a bed of cotton. Since I have so many cotton seeds. It's kind of perfect timing with the vegetables because I was low. Then I go put them up in a storage box. I do end up taking one with me. sure I take that lock pick. Got to have it. I believe I give the island a quick run around before I take off. After I turn off the generator, because I left it running. So, I did check the map, and the closest rogue is nowhere near the farming area, so we should be good to go. Of course, I ended up not seeing any, so that was a plus. Hopefully... some reason my audio kept switching to my to my sound bar I have a sound bar and a, a, a bass box attached to my computer and that's what I listen to when I'm not using my headset and it kept swapping back and forth for some reason I'm not sure why the day starts off pretty good I ended up finding two builder's crates right off the start. Which I was 
hoping would be the start to a good day. But that bear was following me, so I turned around to make sure it wasn't coming to get me. goal for the day was to actually get some nails, some fiber, and some wood. So that's what I start doing. Keeping my fingers crossed that I find what I need to continue building. Very much like to get this build done. Need to start hunting some deer so I can get the antlers, well, the deer and the moose. So I can start making paste. So I can start putting the glass walls up where they go. And the glass roofs. Because I'm at a portion of the base now where glass roofs are going to be coming in. But I'm going to have to use wood until I can get the glass made. It's kind of a waste of resources, but not kind of a waste of resources. It is and it ain't because you get some of the resources back when you dismantle it. So I'm not going to be too hurt over making everything out of wood first and then converting what has to be glass into glass. And then the entire base is going to be metal and glass when it's all said and done. Okay, it's a nice trade-off because there's also a lot of loot crates. And there's a lot of four log trees. Besides having to use the birch forest. Which is a plus. This entire area is covered in four log trees. Which is real handy. I just keep finding bag after bag after bag. And I find a lot of scrap. And I do find plenty of fiber. I get bit. Thank the Lord above, he didn't poison me. Even though I know I have an antidote made up. But I get this bear too. But what I see is a lock crate. So, I take the bear and the wolf away from the lock crate. I'm not sure what's up, but for the last couple of videos, I have been finding nothing but lock crates. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on, but thank you, Go Games, for the 
That's all I can say. But, I lose the bear. And I go back to get the lock crate. Of course, I'm making sure nothing's following me. And it's nice enough to quit raining on me for a few minutes. Long enough for me to hear my background noise while I get this crate. And here I was talking about needing to make a rifle because I'll, I got a lot of rifle rounds. <laughs> talking about eating to eat that steak before it went bad. I have a lot of food spoiled on me. And right here I'm talking about the colors of the leaves. I was admiring how pretty they were. I've never noticed that before. I even checked to see what month it is to make sure I didn't jump months without knowing but I was really admiring the leaves because I hadn't noticed them until today yeah, I'm still admiring them <laughs> does come back which I'm okay with didn't mind too much I didn't have any animals around me so that was good But, I find a second lock crate. <laughs> if you can believe that, this is why I wanted to make sure I had some kind of voiceover on this video. Because I just could not believe, two days in a row, that I found double lock crates. And I think somewhere in there I had another video where I found just one lock crate. <laughs> and it's just unbelievable. So... I hightail it back to the base because <laughs> it's only midday and I go back to the base to make another pick <laughs> and here I'm saying that I probably should have left the generator running <laughs> for turning it off I was like yeah I don't need no more juice I'm good but I'm in such a hurry to get back to base, I don't want to stop and pick up the fiber that I'm missing. Because I don't want a repeat of the other video when I'm fumbling around with lock picks or lock crates that I can't get. I wanted to make sure I did this one right this time. safely and quickly. And I'm really hoping this voiceover worked out pretty good because I don't want to have to record it again. It is 
past my bedtime, <laughs> and I really want to get this done. <laughs> I usually have, this is tonight's video, so I usually have this one done, processed, and ready to upload when I wake up. That way, I'm good to go. <laughs> I ain't gotta worry about it. Now I'm gonna have to process this when I wake up. And then upload it. But at least I'm getting the voiceover done. So that makes me happy. But I was saying something about finding a bag on the on the beach when I landed. How the loop just kept coming today. But I turned the overdrive back on and cranked that on without even checking the BCU because I knew I would need it. And while I'm waiting for that to build, I do put some of the stuff up. I think what I'm going to do with this chest right here is turn it into a dump box. Since it's the only one on this floor, I think I'm gonna separate these into the other storage chest, because I still have one more storage chest to build. No, two more. One or two more storage chests to make. And I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna keep that as a dump box. But I get in such a hurry here, I end up just throwing what I can in the box and sort it out later. <laughs> I'll just let your, you go, you go, you go. Okay, and then I turn that off. straighten everything out here so I can see what I get from the other lock crate. Make sure I grab the key this time. Or pick. I call it a key. I know it's a lock pick, but I call it a key. You can't open a crate without it. I call it a key. So if you ever hear me say I need to go make a key, yep, that's what I'm doing. Making a lock pick. This took longer than expected, and right about now I have about five minutes or so of daylight left, so I'm really in a hurry to get back to that chest, or that crate. Because I want to get it before it despawns. I know some of you guys watching not going to mention any names. Some of you guys that are watching have trouble with uh, not finding any lock crates. I you seem know, to be finding them daily. <laughs> I do apologize for that too. That you got to watch this. It's got to be excruciating, I'm sure. Voiceover doesn't work out. I will upload this video without a commentary. Wouldn't be my first one, but I am not deleting this video. <laughs> but with the daylight I do have left, I do make a beeline straight for there. And of course, it wants to give me another builder's box, so I. Stop it. 
get it, obviously. Because I'm a nail hog and I really want the nails. But I do get lucky and it's still there. <laughs> stuff the paste especially since I haven't gotten any antlers yet I do get some more nails and I do end up going back to base with what daylight I do have left Stop over just around a big boulder here, and I think this is where I grab a wolf. And I, right there, I was like, "Ooh, strawberry, gotta have it." Yeah, this is where I get the wolf because he's next to a bag I want. They gave me a cotton seed, so I had to double check. <laughs> so I just need one more seed to have another full bed of cotton growing, which is fantastic. I don't have any cotton yet. Shotty out because I'm gonna take out this other wolf. Make sure I had plenty of food to eat. That one just proved me wrong. But I kept right on trucking back to base. Bridge across this. Swimming just takes forever. fuel brick but I notice I don't have any and I notice it's almost out so I go ahead and top it off wood because I didn't think I'd have time to make a fuel brick or grab one for that matter and here I take the water out and I put the meat in and to save time because it is getting dark I think I go ahead and start building here. Yep, this is what I do. I start building. Make 
this railing to finish off the balcony and this is me checking out the glass roofs that I'm going to be needing seeing what I need here's where it starts getting pretty dark on me and here I place a half wall and this will stay wood it won't be glass but that roof right there will be glass it will be replaced with a glass roof I should say Here, I put another window wall after I got the lights on. I do need to get a, another light on the third floor. I did mention that in the video, by the way. But here I'm getting the planks and nails and cordage that I need to keep building. Because I did end up with a lot of nails. I think I started the day off with 20 that I had in a in one of the storage boxes and I think I had a few more nails in another box that I didn't know I had I think it was like six nails and uh, to combine those with everything I had and it enabled it enabled me to do some nice building today which was good but I put another window wall here then I make another wall and a set of steps and I think I make another wall Here I was commenting that it, I, I was apologizing for building in the dark, but the light underneath the floor actually shown up here pretty good, so you can still kind of see what I'm doing. And then I place the stairs here. Go up to the final level. And I think I make one more wall. Yeah, I do. I make one more wall. And I put it there behind the steps. that wall okay but I do make one more wall because I think I have enough mats for it and it I do put it behind the steps that's where I was talking about needing a light where I was looking up like that there we go and I think that's all I can build all the building for the day and here's where I'm checking for rogues for the next run around of course there's one that's pretty close to that rock where we found that second lock crate so I'll have to avoid that area tomorrow but everything else is free and clear because that's the only rogues I see
why there was only one rogue camp I couldn't understand. It's pretty rare. But, this is pretty much the end of the video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and seen it for the first time and want to see more, hit that sub button. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.